hi students this lecture is related to what is cytoplasm what is its importance there in the cell first part we are going to look at into the importance of cytoplasm in the second part we are going to look at what is meant by cyclosis process cytoplasm refers to fluid jelly like mass of protoplasm excluding the nucleus and it is surrounded by the plasma membrane it is differentiated into cytosol or ground substance the other part is a membrane bound and non membranous cell organelle containing regions first we look at points related to cytosol cytosol are optically homogeneous translucent and jelly like continuous phase made up of cytoplasm it represents the cytoplasm and after all the major particulates or organelles are removed from the cells it is called as a hyaloplasm or ground substance or cytoplasmic matrix it contains molecules such as amino acids carbohydrate proteins enzymes vitamins nucleotides trna molecules proteins occurs as a colloidal particles thus cytosols are referred as a cytocolloidal system also it can occur in two forms one is a non viscous fluid like or non granular or plasmosol or sol form it is called as ectoplasm the other part is viscous jelly like granular plasma gel or gel form which is also called as endoplasm both these forms are interchangeable regularly in the cell depend upon the conditions in which the cell has been exposed this in turn helps in the cytoplasmic movements of the cell next we look at into the cytoplasmic streaming if you look at in the right hand side you can able to see the cytoplasmic streaming of the chloroplast cell there in the plants okay so the green color things are chloroplast cells that are all moving there by process called cytosis so the other theme for cytoplasmic streaming is cyclosis in cyclosis cytoplasm move in one direction around a central vacuole or in several direction around the central vacuole cyclosis streaming depends on the factors such as viscosity of the cytoplasm temperature and ph of the cytoplasm the cytoplasmic streaming mainly help in the movement of organelle like chloroplast that has been shown there in the right hand side and other inclusion bodies within the cytoplasm in some proteins such as uh, amoeba in addition to pseudopodia cytoplasmic streaming also help in the movement of the amoeba cells it takes place mainly in the eukaryote and not in the prokaryote that is cytoplasmic streaming is absent in the prokaryotic organisms finally we look at into the functions of the cytoplasm cytoplasm help in the intracellular distribution of various molecules that includes metabolites enzymes and nutrients within the cell it serves as a platform for the exchange of materials between the different organelles within a cell it serves as a site for the process of breakdown of glucose that is glycolysis it is again the seat for biosynthesis of nucleotides protein fatty acids and this is a location in which most of the nucleocytoplasmic interactions will be happening example for a nucleocytoplasmic interaction is transcription translation translation process will be taking place there in the cytoplasm with the help of ribosomes the nascently formed mrna molecule will be coming out through the nucleus through the nuclear pores and it may attach to a ribosome and the translation process will be carried out there in the cytoplasm 